A lot of praying going on, so uh, I'll get right into it. Now, I, uh, I read a book by Kenneth Reeves. He's one of those old-time authors. When I first got in church back in the beginning of the 70s, his material was the kind of stuff you put in your library, and he said this about bringing a message. By the time I get this thought out, the message will be over, so... But he said he'd try to find the vein where the service is. He said he'd start out in a subject. Maybe he'd do doctrine. He said if uh, the people weren't hungry for that, he said he'd go into miracles. If the people weren't jumping on miracles, then he'd go into casting out demons. He'd looking for the vein. Where, where is the church? Now, we're here, but are we here? Somebody say, praise the Lord. Lord. Very interesting guy on the Godhead, uh, angels and demons. He said that he saw a a demon in the service. Now, that's a spirit. Some people are gifted to see spirits. He said it was a lazy spirit. My goodness. You know, spirits come to church. Amen. 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 And usually, if they start making a ruckus through a saint, can they do that? Well, uh, I'm going to say yes. I didn't say they were possessed, but spirits can poke us. So he, he rebuked that lazy spirit, but the lazy spirit is lazy. So it started just kind of meandering on out of the service, you know, like a lazy spirit. Couldn't do it very fast. Amen. You think about it. Where is the service? Where is your head? Where is your spirit? We're worshiping. When we are in that one mind zone, when everybody's spirit is in tune with him and what he's wanting to do and what he's leading. Now, I really feel this is a very encouraging service. Don't take a nosedive because I said all that. Amen. So as I'm feeling it out, and I don't have much time to really do a lot of feeling, I'm just going to have to give you what I was thinking about. Come on, somebody say praise the Lord. Lord. I'm going to start throwing rocks at you. I didn't bring no rocks. But uh, in 1973, I got the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Now, I see some people get the Holy Ghost, and I heard Billy Cole say, you you don't got to have a a complete speech in tongues. Just speak in tongues. It could be a little, it could be a burp or a hiccup. That's okay. Yeah, that's true. But I like to see a little more baptism of the Holy Ghost. All right. All right. You know, I, when that baby's born, I don't want to hear it go, eh. <laughs> I want to have my ear where that baby's been born. I want to, ah, yeah, that thing's got some lungs. Listen to those pipes. It's alive. <laughs> now, this mind said, I wouldn't, it took me a month to get the Holy Ghost. I had the uh, paralysis of analysis. I was doing push-ups at the altar. Come on, Jesus, come on, come on. <laughs> I didn't understand getting in the Spirit or receiving the Spirit. I was completely clueless. But when I was at General Conference in Salt Lake City, I hadn't got the Holy Ghost yet. My pastor drove me from California over there. He said, maybe this will get this kid through. First night there, but really... He could have stuck a fork in me. I was ripe. I was going to pop somewhere. If he hadn't got there in time, I'd have popped on the road somewhere. I was ready. You got to be wanting the Holy Ghost enough to be ready. I was crying. Nobody could tell me it wouldn't happen. Nobody could tell me it's not going to. I would not listen to one negative thought. I don't care what theology anybody. You can't tell me. That it will not happen. It was going to happen, and I'm going to get the Holy Ghost. And I said it this way, too, just because maybe the argument was right. I didn't know. I said, well, if he answers prayer, he's going to give me the Holy Ghost. I'm going to speak in tongues like all these other people. Now, it wasn't the tongues, but the tongues meant that I was getting his spirit. I go to the shoe store. I don't say, give me a pair of tongues. The The tongues come with the shoes. Come on, somebody. 50 years ago, God filled me with the Holy Ghost. 
I was the first one up there to get the Holy Ghost. And when I had my head back and it didn't happen right away, and I was seeking, I mean, I could feel the Lord right over me. That was just my sensation. Felt like, felt like he was just right there. And, uh, and I was reaching. And it didn't happen instantly. I, I was like, oh, no. No, 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 no. And somebody bumped me. Some lady grabbed my jaw. And, and I, I took this step of faith. I, I tried to turn my mouth loose because, you know, you're just, just you're, you're the hindrance. And when I turned it loose, somebody said somewhere in the background, that's it. I said, that's it? <laughs> yeah. Then I just kind of, like the, the Tin Man and the Wizard of Oz, put some more oil on that. Yeah. A little more of the Holy Ghost oil. Yeah. And I started squeezing some more of that Holy Ghost oil getting on my mouth. Next thing you know, I, was, uh, I, 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 I started speaking tongues. You, I put everybody to shame. The complete release. Have you forgot the complete release? God in heaven. The prime. The best. The new wine. Did I care about the audience? No. I didn't care about anything. And this is what I thought when it was happening. I'm here. It's happening. I ain't leaving. Why people jet out of here so fast when they're being... I don't get it. You know what's happening to you? He's priming you for resurrection. He's priming you for eternal life. He's filling you with your, the intimate presence of Him. And I was, I was felt that warm honey. I, this is what I came for. This is why I'm still here. 50 years later, if you don't feel something along that line, why are you here? I'm here for that feeling, that presence, that experience. I want more of it. It's going to be eternity when he finally takes completely over. It was a general conference. It was full. The Shekinah was there. It was smoking. I got the Holy Ghost. I didn't stop. I had to quit because I couldn't go any further. I, I, did, I got greedy. Feel me. Why would somebody leave? I ain't got a wife waiting for me anywhere. I ain't got kids. Anymore. I'm, man, I drank and drank and drank and drank and drank. Is my fuss spot over yet? <laughs> Amen. Thank God for the Holy Ghost. I ain't even started. That was just a little intro. 